Hi, I'm Bridget Moore, and I am the 4-H Youth Development Extension Educator in Athens County. And I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about some statewide rabbit opportunities for your rabbit project members. So let me share my screen here. And here we go. So here on the screen, you'll see my contact information and that of my colleague, Travis West. He is the 4-H educator in Benton County. And he, the two of us work with rabbit programs and resources and projects throughout the state. So if we can help you or your members with anything, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information will be on the final slide in this presentation as well. So we're going to talk a bit about 4-H rabbit opportunities and events, particularly as they apply to the Ohio State Fair. So the first one I want to talk to you about is the Ohio State Fair 4-H Rabbit Quiz Bowl Contest. This is a new contest. We will be in our third year this year. It's a contest that is sponsored by the state, the Ohio State Fair, and the awards are given out during the state fair. But it is actually held prior to the state fair. The registration deadline is June, Thursday, June 18th. And the contest is Saturday, July 18th at the Nationwide and Ohio Farm Bureau 4-H Center. And then we do hand out those awards on Friday, August 7th during the State Fair Rabbit Skeleton Awards presentation. So when this is a quiz bowl contest between different teams, we have junior and senior teams. And when the kids register, they will also be submitting questions. And those are the questions that we pull for the contest. So let's see here. We show you the resources. Our senior teams are composed of 4-H members that are 14 to 18 years old. They do not have to be a Rabbit Project member, but they do have to be a 4-H member. And they actually use four different resources to pull their questions from. Those are the Rabbit Resource Handbook, then an updated resource of Rabbit breeds that have been recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association since we wrote the handbook. Then the Raising Better, Better Rabbits and Cavies book, which is uh, put out by the ARBA, and they can use either the 2011 or the 2020 edition. Both of those should have blue covers and look similar to this one. And the latest edition of the American Rabbit Breeders Association Standard of Perfection, which is the 2016 to 2020 edition. The juniors who are nine to 13 for age age, they will just use three resources, which is the Rabbit Resource Handbook, that addendum with the additional breeds, and then the Raising Better Rabbits and Cavies book. They will, all the information as far as questions, how many, how to submit them is available on our Ohio4h.org website under the uh, rabbit section. We also have an Ohio State Junior Fair poster contest, which is a part of the State Fair. You do have to enter through the State Fair, just the poster if, if you want. You don't have to enter a rabbit as well. But those entries are online and they, are, they have to be done by June 20th. And there is a $5 entry fee because we do pay premiums and State Fair pays premiums on this contest. Your poster has to represent a topic from the 4-H Rabbit Resource Handbook. And all of the requirements as far as poster size, the fact that it needs to be covered in plastic, et cetera, can be found on the State Fair's competition information for rabbits. So it's found in, as a part of the Junior Fair Rabbit uh, competition information. And those will be turned in at the State Fair Rabbit check-in, which is uh, Wednesday evening or Thursday morning of, of State Fair week. And the member exhibitor does not have to be present. You can send that, that poster with someone else from your county or make arrangements with your extension educator to get it to, to myself or Travis beforehand. And we give out awards in three age categories. It's a lot of fun. We hang those in the barn and they're a great way to, to educate the public as well. We also do an Ohio State Junior Fair Rabbit Breed ID contest. And this is no pre-entries required. Any Ohio 4-H or FFA Rabbit Project member is eligible to participate in this contest. 
It's going to be Thursday, August 6th in the State Fair Rabbit Barn, and we'll have sample score sheets posted prior to the fair. The contest begins at one, and we do a brief orientation just to explain the process to the kids um, just prior to the contest. And there will be awards in five age categories. So what a breed ID contest is, is that we have 20 rabbits and we will have them in cages. You cannot touch them, but you can uh, look at them through the cage, examine them from all angles, and you will have a score sheet that has 20 of these boxes. So it's a multi-page score sheet. And so the cages are labeled with numbers. For cage number one, if I was uh, participating in this contest, I would put in what breed I felt this rabbit was the number of classes that that breed is shown in, the four or six class animal, what its body type is, what its registration variety and or showroom varieties are. And then you would circle everything that's appropriate to this breed. Is it shown by groups, varieties, classification, or none of these? And is this breed's fur type Rex fur, satin, wool, or normal? And if it is normal, then you'll need to say, is it rollback, flyback, or standing fur? And the, each one of those individual questions has a certain weight to it as far as points. We score these overall, and like I said, we give awards in five age groups. It's, uh, it, can, it can be a little daunting, I think, the first time kids see it, but they learn a lot, and they get, you know, they get points just for getting the breed name right. Um, they do have to get the breed right in order to get um, any points at all. Otherwise, that, that breed is scored a zero. Um, if you are interested in implementing this at your county, please let me know. I can send you a copy of the score sheet. I answer any questions you might have. It's a lot of fun, and we see that the scores, we've offered this for quite a while, and we see that the scores steadily increase over the years. Also, we have the Ohio State Junior Fair Rabbit Skillathon. There's no pre-entry for this. The kids sign up that morning, and any Ohio 4-H or FFA member is eligible. They do not have to be a Rabbit Project member. It is Friday, August 7th, in the State Fair Rabbit Barn. The Skillathon station topics will be posted prior to fair, and we give out awards in each age division. And that same day, that Friday, August 7th, in the morning, we also do our Ohio State Junior Fair Rabbit Judging Contest. There's no pre-entry for this contest. Any Ohio 4-H or FFA Rabbit Project members eligible? Uh, like I said, it is Friday, August 7th, in the State Fair Rabbit Barn. We will have sample score sheets posted prior to the fair, and the contest begins at 9 a.m. We do do an orientation during the exhibitor meeting on Thursday, but that's not necessary to participate. So if you're not an exhibitor and you're just coming down on Friday to do the skeleton and the judging contest, we'll get you up to speed that day. That's not a problem at all. The, uh, we do also make sure that kids who want to do both, we work so that we can get them through both since they're running at the same time. And we give awards in five age categories there as well. The rabbit judging contest, the kids are actually the judge. They get to score, they get to evaluate three classes of rabbits hands-on, so they get to get those rabbits out of, of their holding pens and examine them for disqualifications and uh, do everything that an ARBA judge would do at a show. They are allowed to use a standard of perfection, and we highly encourage that, just as a judge would, and they have questions to, that for each class that are designed to help them make their placings, and then they place the classes one through four just like you would in a general livestock judging contest. So again, it's been a great learning experience over the years and we see these kids' skills really, really growing. Then of course, we have the Ohio State Junior Fair and open rabbit shows. So you have to make pre-entry by June 20th and that is online only. Our junior market show, which is our show for pens of three, is on the evening of Thursday, August 6th. Our junior breeding stock show, our junior breed show is on Saturday, August 8th. Our open ARBA sanctioned show is on Sunday, August 9th. And you have to enter in both junior and open to show in both. Those are separate online entries. But if you're a junior fair exhibitor and you just want to show in the junior fair show, that's fine. You can do that. Although if you're 
there, we encourage you to go ahead and, and enter for the, the open show too. Open, of course, is open to everyone. So parents, adults, um, and youth exhibitors. We are always looking for additional sponsors for our junior fair awards and award sponsors do receive two admission tickets and a one day parking pass. We still have awards that need sponsors and if you're interested, please contact me or Travis and we will put you in touch with uh, Phil Lape who does all of the uh, award sponsors, uh, solicits the award sponsors and, and gets that information to our uh, vendor that makes the awards. We have a few extras that we do during the fair and one is our rabbit costume contest. It is on the afternoon following the breed, the junior breed show on Saturday, late afternoon, and it's really popular. We usually have about 15 to 20 entries every year. It's popular with fairgoers and with the kids. As you can see, many of the kids dress up themselves as well as their rabbits, and they, they just have a really good time and, and we enjoy that. We have a, awards ranging from the best duo costume to crowd favorite. So pretty much everyone walks away with an award. We do a rabbit scavenger hunt. We have a, a form that has 20 different questions on it that are things like what rabbit breed was developed in Ohio and what's the largest breed of rabbit. And then the public and exhibitors, anyone can get one of these forms at the rabbit office. We have a sign, big rabbit that has them uh, sitting there. They can go and then go around the barn and find the answers to these questions. So what's the largest breed of rabbit recognized in the United States or by the ARBA? They'll go and they'll, over the Flemish giant, a cage of a Flemish giant, there'll be a sign that says, I'm the largest breed, I'm a Flemish giant. They'll write that in and bring us the forms back, the completed forms back, and we give them a squishy uh, rabbit with the Ohio 4-H logo on it, so, and the, and the 4-H clover. So, that's a really popular contest. It's a great way to get the public engaged and learning more than just walking through the barn and saying, oh, that's a pretty rabbit. And I know it's been replicated at at least one county fair. Van Wert County has done it. It's been very popular. And then we will be embarking on our third year of doing a 49 breeds display. There's currently 49 breeds recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association. And we've set out to try to get an example of each of them. We are not quite there yet, but we had all but I think six or seven last year. We have them in one row so people can walk down and see all the breeds of rabbits with their names and some information about each breed. It's very popular with, with the public, but also with our exhibitors because there's some kids that may have never seen certain breeds of rabbit. They may not have seen a silver or an American sable or um, a Blanc de Hoto. So rabbits that aren't quite as common in either this part of the country or in general. If, if you're looking for a way to just kind of dip your toes into the state fair, it'd be a great idea to come down on Friday, have your kids do the skillathon and the judging contest, and then also check out our 49 breeds display. They will learn a lot. We, we are a really friendly and fun department, and we'd love to have you join us either for the day or for the entire fair. So again, there's my contact information, my email, and Travis's as well. We are happy to help you with anything that you might, uh, any questions you might have about these opportunities at the State Fair, or if you want to implement some things in your county, or you just have rabbit questions in general, please feel free to reach out to us. And we really hope to see you at the 2020 Ohio State Fair. Thank you.